tarehe alumini I had a personal relationship with him but I want to say a few things about his relationship with Stare. I thought one of it the director would have mentioned. He was very close to Dr. Griffin. And in 205, that evening, one evening when Dr. Griffin passed on, <coughs> and I called him and he told, he said he wanted to take charge of looking after the remains of Dr. I think he supervised the entire work of preserving that body in a way that he used to tell us it could stay for 200 years. And that is how close he was to Dr. Griffin. The second one that I remember about Stare is the day he was sworn in as a cabinet minister. He actually called me and told me to pass a message to the director that now that he was a minister for education, the management team and the director needed to work hard because from where he sat, he could not be seen to give any favors to Stare boys. And that was a principle in which we all knew Professor Magoha to be. I recall an event, again a sad event, when he lost his mother. And I went to Marenyo village in Kemi for the burial. And when he saw me, he asked me, why didn't you tell me you were coming? And I told him in the Stare Brotherhood, I cannot tell you I'm coming to bury my mother. I just show up. And although many people think that Professor Magoha never smiled, he actually smiled and laughed. In his days as a VC, especially in the early days and the vice chancellor of the University of Nairobi, he had difficulties with the Ministry of Education. And the Minister for Education was the late Saitoti. And I'm the one he talked to who brought them together because he needed funding from the ministry. Perhaps many of his secretaries at the university will recall I used to come there for a cup of tea now they know what we were plotting as brothers to have the Ministry of Education support the University of Nairobi. On the day that Professor passed on, and I've shared this with Barbara and Michael, I was having lunch with a friend of his. And this friend was very busy sending money to Professor Magoha. This was at 2.30 that afternoon. He wanted to help Pesa to help in burial arrangement of his younger brother. So he sent the money successfully, and immediately the professor called back to say thank you. So my friend left the lunch table and went out to pick the call and came back and said, I just sent money to the professor, he was just acknowledging because he felt he was rude at a lunch table leaving. So in the evening when the news started coming in, and somebody called me and said, Professor Makoha has passed on, I said, no, it's not Professor George, it is his younger brother. Because I did not believe that being privy to a conversation at 3 o'clock, somebody can then leave us two, three hours later. But that's what life is all about that we live in this world at the grace of this, all that, at the grace of the Almighty. And that every minute we have is a borrowed minute. And that we need to do what we can to live this world better than we found it. Fairly well, our